When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. We're off. We're off. See him a little bit. It's rainy, <laughs> cold. Freezing. Yeah, it's freezing. I had to leave this morning, but it was like zero degrees. Yeah, Lee and I woke up about 5.30 and went, nah, we're not getting out of bed. <laughs> no, that's just the only thing we've got going on now. The whistle. Someone tell us what that is. It's not our gearbox. We had a couple of revs and it goes away. I googled it and someone said it was your stern gland when you've been out of the water and you go back in the water sometimes it doesn't get let the water go and it can whistle yeah. but Lee's repacked the stern gland yeah put all the packing out let the water run through put it back in tighten it up so we don't know we're just going to ignore this whistle we're just going to turn the engine off and start sailing yeah we don't need it <laughs> just to get out of here though <laughs> Leaving Mooloolaba on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, we headed out the bar towards Double Island Point. So we left Malula Bar today and we probably should have left tomorrow because there was still two metre swells and it's been all right. We started off with a bit, a bit of a um, hectic sail. We had to pull the main down because the wind was straight behind us. So we've just got our head sail up. But we're going along nicely thanks to this guy absolute legend who sat there all day hand steering because the autopilot isn't doing its job the seas are a bit too wild but we're on our way to double island point i think we're a couple of hours off Beth. yeah, yeah. one hour yeah one hour so that's been our day Just out of the swell here, but um, got plenty of chain out and a lot of pressure on it there. Double Island Point is a prominent headland 
That is our anchorage for our stop for the night. So we're just about to leave Double Island Point and we're heading over the Wai Bay Bar in a couple of hours. So we've already heard on the radio that someone else has crossed the bar, so it looks right. I think it's 1.5 metre um, swell and the winds are looking okay as well. So we're going to head off. Double Island Point, which was a rolly night last night, but better than night sailing up the outside of Fraser with two metres of swell and 25 knots of wind. So we're getting close, about an hour and a half away. We're just cruising over slowly to Wide Bay Bar, which is probably one of your nasty spots along the east coast of Australia. Once you get inside there, you can come up the inside of Fraser Island. And yeah, it's pretty safe sailing, and then you're inside the reef. But I radioed in when we were in Brisbane and just to get the new coordinates for the bar, which is constantly changing. Um, so I've just put them in. If you come back here, you can have a look. Waypoint 1 and waypoint 2, which were given to me by Tin Can um, VMR, which is just a phone call, and they text you out. And there was the existing one, which is that slight pink colour down to here. So obviously, the middle bank here has moved north, so if you took the uh, original line off your Navionics or whatever card you're running, you could be running into the corner of that bank depending on your draft. So just a phone call and I'll text you out the coordinates and happy days. A very funny phone call. Happy days. This is Hopefully, we haven't crossed yet. So, <laughs> yeah, we haven't tried it out yet, but um... <laughs> So, is there sand in the Wide Bay Bar? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, there is sand in the Wide Bay Bar, and there's lots of it too. <laughs> so, I'd like the coordinates. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, they've changed a lot. <laughs> There's lots of sand in the bar. <laughs> but I'll text you through the Canadians. When were you thinking when were you thinking of coming through the bar? Oh, don't know. Maybe like a week or two. Alright, I'll text you through the Canadians. <laughs> that was pretty much how it went. So we're also now Australian registered, so that's we've taken the numbers off the back. We've got our port, which is Southport. So that's a bit exciting. We can now leave Australian waters. So we're just coming up to White Bay Bar and we have spotted some waves. But there's another boat going through before us, so that's a bit reassuring. coming up to the bar and I'm just curious whether my um, marks are right that I've put in and we can see now I've got the AIS set up and I've overlaid it onto the Simrad you can see a boat's taking the exact same reference point there and coming out on the same line so that's a little bit more comforting to know that we're uh, heading in on the right direction good job captain I've crossed this bar at night for the first time <laughs> You're an old salty and sea dog. I don't even think she woke up. You're asleep the whole time. Our first experience crossing this bar was at night. So today will be a little bit more or less stressful. Not really, we couldn't see anything so we didn't have any idea what was going on. <laughs> we just saw waves in the distance, it was a bit alarming.
To the sound of the beach And I will go into the wild On my own I will survive And I will This guy over here is just coming right where all the breakers are Manta Ray Barge takes campers and tourists across to Fraser Island. Fraser Island is the world's largest sand island stretching over 120 kilometres. Where I could grow old to the sound of the beach and I will go into the wild on my own I will survive and I will go into the wild we headed into calmer waters, heading up the Great Sandy Strait. The Great Sandy Strait offers a calm water alternative up the inside of Fraser Island and harbours many great anchorages. The Great Sandy Strait has over 40 miles of waterways and ends at Harvey Bay. Passage, your arms and shoulders and neck get sore. The best thing you can do is set up a massage chair, especially when you have a little masseuse on board. Oh, that is heaven. Oh. Right on, Captain. We are going five knots. Feels like we're still and no motor. Sailing around the beach. How are we going, Captain? Good. I can see now. Cruising along six, seven knots. Just a little bit of head sail. And what have we got? Just had seven. Ten knots. Misty morning. <laughs> what did you do that? 
Mum had a play on the Lyra and we headed off north towards Moon Point. So just pulling up the anchor. Oh, from Fraser Island out the front of Kingfisher Bay where we stayed last night and we're going to head uh, towards the bay into Harvey Bay. The other side of Fraser, I think Rooney, near Rooney Point or somewhere over there. So it's Mother's Day and I am getting pampered as we speak. Just had my hair done. And your nails. And my nails. And your feet. And my toes. Bella. It was a calm sail to Archer Cliffs, which was our first stop outside of the Great Sandy Straits. It's beautiful, honey. It's real nice. It's real nice. You doing that, Missy? Making a cake. Mother's Day. Making a Mother's Day cake. Yum. Chocolate, Chocolate cake. Oh. And I get the bowl. Just making our own water! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the sky. So beautiful. We're going to go over and explore maybe this afternoon, otherwise we'll go in the morning. Making water, baby! Filling our tanks. Our tanks are low. We're at Fraser Island. We're about to head up to Lady Musgrave, so there's no way to fill tanks from here to now. Look at that! Making water! We're just a little bit excited. This is We've had our water maker for ages and we haven't used it. We're making water, we're making water. We are super excited to share with you guys our water maker and how easy it is to use. So check out our water making episode coming soon for our, the brand and make we purchase and how often we use it. Join us in our next episode as we explore some of the beautiful Fraser Island. Cheers for watching and a massive thank you to all our patrons. We love you. Tell me brother, hear what I say, there's a simpler